This has got to be one of the best van space saving ideas of all time. We are Sally and Ed, and up until recently, we were traveling the world and sharing our adventures here on YouTube. Since we can't travel overseas at the moment, we thought we would take this opportunity to explore more of our beautiful home country, Australia. So, we bought a 2015 Mercedes Sprinter, which we are currently self-converting into a camper van so that we can begin our next big adventure. Guess what? It is episode six of our van build. We're up to episode six. We've done six episodes already, and I know that it doesn't feel like we're doing a lot, but to us it feels like we're doing a lot. And everything we've heard so far about converting a van is that it's sort of like building a house. You spend ages on the foundations, you gotta put in that real base work and groundwork so that when it comes to the finishing touches, everything will come together really, really quickly. So although it doesn't look like much <laughs> is happening, a lot is happening under under the surface, you could say. And even last episode, we hit a major milestone in the build. We cut a hole in the van and we installed a Max Air fan, which was a pretty big moment for both of us. Yeah, we were so nervous cutting a hole in the van. Like this is our new van and we've only had it for a little bit. And here we are just like making huge structural changes. But I'm so glad we did because now she actually looks like a real camper from the outside. Like Tofu is yeah. starting to look like a real camper and it's so funny because it's just one small minor change that we made and now it's like, oh my God, we have a camper van. Like yeah. we have a camper van. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be installing a headliner shelf, which is gonna be up there above the passenger and driver's seat, but more on that later. First of all, we've gotta get rid of most of this stuff that's in the van because we just seem to be accumulating stuff in here. So yeah. step one, remove junk. Let's step two, it. build headliner shelf. Let's Hi. do it. Given we're gonna be living in the van when we're traveling Australia, finding some awesome van space saving ideas is something that we think about a lot. When we were doing our research into different creative ways that we could save space whilst living in our van, one thing kept coming up over and over again in pretty much every Sprinter van conversion and basically any van conversion that we saw, and that is a headliner shelf. A headliner shelf is this shelf here that sits above the passenger in the driver's seat. And in a Sprinter and in a lot of vans, this is actually like dead space. As you can sort of see at the moment, there is loads of standing room. So what we're actually going to do is build a shelf that sits across here. So we'll come up to my chest and then we're gonna have all of this space where my head is as storage space. So we thought we'd start with building the headliner shelf because it seemed like a relatively easy task that would just like ease us into the process of building this van. Not very good Struggling there with the tape measure, hey? Yeah, it's, I don't know how these tradies make it look so easy. It's not. 14, 1500. 1450 by 600, let's start with that. Nice. So what I've done is I've just marked out 600 up, which is half of this length of wood, and I've squared it off using a square so my line's nice and straight, traced down with a little bit of uh, blue painter's tape, and now I'm just gonna square it off and run it to the edge of the table, and I'll double check to make sure it's 600 consistent the whole way. And this should be our headliner piece. measured out the headliner shelf. What we're gonna do is we are gonna take this box right here and we're basically gonna cut a cardboard template and that's gonna be the template we use to cut our plywood. It seems straightforward, but we'll see how we go. Wait, are we 
it's not the straightest. <laughs> now that that's done, let's go see what Ed's been up to. Hey, I was just coming to see what you're up to. Let me get this for you. Yeah, I was just coming to see what you're up to. What have you been up to? I got my yeah, shelf. Yeah, let me swap. Work. All right, so we got the first piece of the shelf. Now this is obviously gonna be way too big for what we're doing. This is the first rough cut. Now, I know for a fact this is not going to fit, but by starting this big, we can then trim it down, take out the corners, do any contouring we need, and we're still gonna have plenty of wood. Let's go see. Let's go see if it fits. Did you make a template? I did make a template. Excellent. <laughs> way too big. So we gotta maybe measure it out. Let's get your template. But this is big enough to start with. So these are my two templates down here. Cool. They're not a hundred percent straight. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> yeah, you did. Ed is using the template that I cut out, and we're basically gonna trace out the grooves so that we can make a perfect template to the shape of the van. Because obviously the van is not a rectangle or a square. And so now Ed's just gonna mark out the bits to cut in the wood. And hopefully it'll fit. We're gonna start off cutting really small and go from there. Attempt one at putting the shelf in. You ready for the first test? I am. I'm excited. It didn't fit before, so I think it's gonna fit now. I have faith. Sorta. Of. Sorta. Of. So, before I cut it way too wide. So now, there we go. So it's gonna sit flush in there. So you can see where the fronty bit, I don't know what you call that. But whatever it is, is in the way. So we've got to cut that piece out, and then it should sit flush. Attempt number two! Ooh. It's pretty close but not quite. So after a little bit of trial and error, we did eventually get the first part of the plywood shelf to fit. See, what we failed to take into account when building is that the Mercedes Sprinter is quite curvy. So we actually needed to build our shelf in such a way that it follows the contours of the front of the cab. So it did take a number of times to get the plywood to be perfect how we wanted it to be. It was kind of like tracing it up blind and it was just a bit tricky, but the reason we decided to make our own headliner shelf rather than buying one is because they're so expensive. So there are a lot of different templates you can buy. I know Van Sillery is one. We decided that it was gonna be way more satisfying to just try and build the shelf ourselves. If you had have told me that building the shelf would have taken over a week, maybe I would have thought twice before we decided to build it. What are you doing, Ed? making some brackets. We're gonna support the weight of the shelf yeah. on these brackets. So these are gonna be trimmed and cleaned up a little bit and then the shelf is gonna sit on them. The reason we didn't buy brackets and we're making brackets is because the shape of the van means that the angle is not at 90 degrees like this. It's actually at a slightly larger angle, probably closer to 100 degrees. So we've decided to make our own brackets rather than buy them. But that's proving to be an interesting interesting experiment in metalwork. Now I need to bend them into shape. I've already measured out on here where I need to make the bend. So I'll just quickly measure that out on all the other ones and then I'll get to hammering. I imagine this is what being like a blacksmith is like. <laughs> Yeah, comment down below if this is, if you're a blacksmith and this is what it's like. <laughs> yeah. This is how you do it. Stop, hammer time. That's good. Right here.
You're a blacksmith. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a, oh Jesus, the tool's heavy. That. We are gonna clean these up. They do look a little bit dodgy at the moment, but we'll file them back, paint them. But yeah, quite happy with that so far. We've hit a bit of a snag because in order to finish our shelf, we need to get some fabric. We don't want it to just look like a piece of plywood like this. So we're gonna try and find some fabric to kind of match this nice felt here. And unfortunately, Spotlight is closed, which is where you get like fabric from. It is starting to get cold and dark, so I think we're gonna leave it here for tonight. And we'll see you in the morning to go to Spotlight and grab some felt. Good morning! All right, guys, it is the next day, and I thought first up, I would show you the progress we have made. Because I'm not gonna lie, it's all coming together. I know yesterday it felt like it was taken all day and nothing was happening, but I'm telling you, today it's all coming together. So. Let's go and see what Ed's been up to. Good Where's job, good? it's looking good. Thanks, it's not fitting just quite yet. I've still got to take a little bit off each of the corners, but when it's done, it's going to snug. It's going to fit so gonna snug. snug. It's gonna snug. It's gonna fit so snugly in here, it's gonna be perfect, like it was made there. Good job! Yeah. So we made this little stand thing here to support the shelf because yesterday we were having some epic struggles trying to hold the shelf up from underneath and measure and scribe all at once. It looks good! Thanks. Look at this, look at all this storage space. I don't know if you can see, but just here it's touching in and bumping. So I'm just gonna take out a chunk here and that should be, should be nice and flush. All good? Almost. So I've measured the shelf out uh, again and put it in place. It's looking pretty good, it's pretty close to how I want it, but I do just need to go through and just take off a few little marks where I scribed and it doesn't fit perfectly. So I'm gonna start by doing that. All right, I think we've cut it one final time and now I think it's fitting perfect. Is it fitting perfect? Pretty good. No, she's not like 100% perfect, but I think for the first shelf I've ever built, uh, I think it's okay. Good job! I'm pretty happy. High five! So next, we're gonna get a piece of wood, probably like this piece here, and we're gonna fit it in there to make a ledge so that when we're driving and we have stuff in the shelf, it all doesn't fly out. We're gonna attempt to cut this piece of wood in half, the only problem is, is it's not really structural wood. There is a chance that it might actually break when we attempt to cut it, but we're gonna try and cut it anyway because if this works, it's gonna save us a trip to Bunnings. And if you guys have been following us on Instagram stories, you would know that we have been to Bunnings so many times. I feel like we've been to Bunnings like a hundred times in the last three weeks. So if we can save ourselves a trip to Bunnings, that would be fab. If it doesn't work, well, we'll go to Bunnings. <laughs> but we're gonna see, we'll give it a go. You gotta try things, right? Tried to cut it and it's looking all right, but the blade is just too short. I'm gonna keep cutting it anyway. Just to see what happens. Out. I'm gonna figure it out. What I really enjoy about this is there's a whole bunch of things that I don't know how to do, and I'm really having to problem solve to figure out how to do it. Definitely not perfect, but got our ledge. Thank you. Make sure it fits. Yep. It's a touch short, but I think once we wrap the carpet around it, it'll be fine. She fits! Oh my goodness, I am so glad that that actually worked, cutting the piece of wood in half. We weren't too sure, but it's worked. Man, this shelf has actually been so tricky to do. And also, hello, Ben. So next up, we're gonna, woo! -hoo. So much stuff here on the floor. It's like a little bit of a trip hazard, but next up, we are gonna be removing the visors, which are those things are right there behind me. I actually didn't know that's what they were called until today. So comment down below if you knew that was what they called, because I found that fascinating. To me, a visor is like a hat. Anyway, I digress. We're going to be removing the screws, and then where the existing screw holes are, we're going to be using those holes to basically screw in the headliner shelf. 
And we are going to be putting the visors back up, but we're going to be doing that after the headliner shelf is in, and once we're done, carpeting it. What not? Anyway, I'm going to use an Allen key. I'm not really allowed to use too many power tools, but I am allowed to use Allen keys. It's not an Allen key. No, it's not an Allen key. No, it's not. Allen's a different shape. So All right. It's a torque head screwdriver. It's a torque head screwdriver. It's not an Allen key, but you know what? It looks like an Allen key to me. are not easy to get out. One done. And a hand. It's stuck. Swap You can get to the people. You know right? This last screw is like right up in the corner and these things are too long, so we're trying to twist it and it's getting stuck and the screw is not coming out. Well, Ed's came out, so. But yeah, frustrating. I can't tell you. Whew. My arms are sore. I feel like I've done like ugh, palm day at the gym. Yeah. Yay! Should we put you off in? Yeah! We did it! <laughs> that was way harder than I thought it would be. My hands are killing me. Alright, we're going to put the shelf up, and then we're going to get the brackets, we're going to measure out the brackets, attach the brackets to the shelf, and we're good to go. Now, it's not perfect, but, like I said, first woodworking project, I think it'll be okay. We were just struggling with Allen keys, like total plebs, trying to fit the screws in. But Ed just remembered that we have a drill bit that can do this, so he's off to go get that, so we can put this in, in like... Well, probably 25 times faster. Oh, that's so much easier, isn't it? In already? I've got a drill. <laughs> it's very slowly starting to come together. Happy days. Happy days! Now what? Now we got to go to Spotlight and carpet it. <sighs> this project is already starting to feel like it is way too much. And I think that both of us are beginning to feel like what have we gotten ourselves into? Like, we're just building a headliner shelf. How on earth are we gonna build cabinets for the kitchen? How are we gonna build like our couch bed lounge situation? How are we gonna build everything else in this van that needs to be built if we can't even get a shelf finished? 